knows me better? My sister or my best pal Melvin? Spoiler alert, I win this challenge. <laughs> I think I'm gonna win, I think I'm gonna win. Y'all getting there. Bye <laughs> bye. Oh my gosh. Dude. The first item we gotta pick up is something that we think makes Daniel happy when he's feeling sad. Correct? Oh, that's easy. I'm his sister. I've known him for so long. Well, I've been there when he was sad. Aww. I've been there when he was sad too. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> There's a lot on the line. Okay. <laughs> now, whoever loses this challenge is going to get a punishment that's different for each person. If Melvin loses, well, here's an AI rendering of what his punishment will be. <laughs> I hope it came out good. But if my sister Kimberly loses, here's an AI rendering of what she'll have to go through. Did it work, editor? A little weird, bro. I feel very nervous because I'm not used to filming and I'm all by myself. The one thing about Daniel is that we did grow up watching Lilo and Stitch. And not only did we love that movie, but he can't do this. Okay, I figured it out. Probably what makes him feel better besides listening to music is definitely singing along. <laughs> Karaoke is huge in Filipino culture. That'll definitely make Daniel feel bad. That'll definitely make Daniel feel better if ever he's sad. One thing that me and Daniel always loved to do is we would just get a baseball and some mitts and we would just stand in a field and throw the ball back and forth. Present to me your items. I'm closing my eyes. I don't know who got each item, so it's very unbiased, you know? In case Melvin's my favorite, I'm not gonna keep picking his. Just an example. I don't like that example. It's just only a matter of time before I win, though, like I predicted at the I don't very think beginning. So. Are the items in the head? The items are in head. <laughs> yes. Opening the right eye. Oh, I opened both. <laughs> Whoa! What is this? <gasps> it's a karaoke machine. Well, we were just talking about karaoke off screen. Whoa! Me and Eisenhower. What a coincidence, Benjamin. Well, I do love singing. I mean, look. We're in the music room. This shirt is very short. But look at this. Not only did this person know that I have small hands. <laughs> they know I like baseball, and my favorite colors are blue and green. So when I'm feeling sad, I could play catch alone. Or with whoever got you the gift. That would cheer me up. <laughs> Baby hands. <laughs> yeah, this one just made him even sadder. <laughs> when I'm feeling sad, I think that this karaoke machine would cheer me up the best. Yes! No! Oh, I got the karaoke oh. machine. Don't you remember all the good times us playing catch back and forth? You might have to do that crazy punishment. All right, there's an outfit in this Target that I would just look divine in. You guys have to find it. Dress me, guys. <laughs> This is a full outfit, tops, bottoms, shoes. It doesn't have to be like underwear. Kimberly does look a little fashion -ista. Pretty stylish, but you do have your little suspenders. That makes me nervous. That's pretty, <laughs> little a suspenders. lot of swag. I'm in the boys section. He dresses like a young boy. I got him a graphic tee with a rocket ship because Daniel takes me higher. Can you take me higher? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my opposition. My arch nemesis over there. Why? He's gonna enter 2024 looking fresh with the outfit that I chose. I'll tell you right now. You know what they say about 2020? You know what they say about the new year? What? Well, new year. Hmm. What did they say? <laughs> Small. Now I'm seeing this and I'm wondering if this is my chance to do like a callback to our childhood. This, however, I feel like it's a little cooler. We used to play Mario Kart all the time. I was always falling off on Rainbow Road. This is so fun. I'm having good time. Randomize it, mix it up. Back and forth. This is gonna be good because my shirt is way too short, so uh, <laughs> Yeah, again! <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, I, I guess I'll change into this one first. Yeah, you what? I was wondering if uh, Daniel's outfit choices were always that same throughout his life. I think my favorite way that he was dressed when my mom would dress him and like maybe... Oh, what the heck? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, I think he has the pants on, definitely. Oh. I guess nothing we haven't seen before. All right, here I come. Outfit number one. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, I mean, 
this is pretty cool. I actually didn't even get a chance to read what this is. Is this, that's Mario Kart. You look comfy. When people say you look comfy, that usually means I don't look very stylish. You could be comfy and stylish. Wow, the fabric on there is suede. <laughs> No. I don't think so. <laughs> I like the joggers. Let's see if we can get a nice booty shot. Oh, yeah, like nice and round. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I do like this overall. It's kind of strange, but it, I'm kind of strange. Example. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll do it. Wow. I mean, I love the pants. Look at that. Well, it's kind of giving pajama now that I look at it closer. Yeah, maybe that's a bedtime outfit. And I like the complimentary colors, orange and blue. Mets! And then it got the nice um, NASA. Oh what? Sorry, just how you showed the NASA. <laughs> this is tough, because both don't really stick out. <laughs> <laughs> booty oh, check. Booty check. Oh man. The stripes do enhance the booty, I they think. They do. Hey, you're my sister. I wasn't looking, but I just know. <laughs> well, I was definitely looking. <laughs> I have to say, I think this one's my favorite. No. Yes! I'm sorry! Oh, no. <laughs> Who no. oh man. You can still win this, Kimberly. You just gotta be uh, better. I will be. <sighs> if I was on an airplane and I was in there doing my thing. What, sitting and waiting? <laughs> <laughs> and the airplane crashed, and now I'm on a deserted island. What item would I bring with me? That doesn't make much sense. Okay, if you were stranded on a deserted <laughs> island, what one item would you bring? Yes. Yeah. I'm pulling for you, I hope you win. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am unbiased, okay? So I'm kind of torn between getting something Daniel needs and getting something that would be fun. I just found a literary masterpiece, an iconic piece of literature. I need a new butt. I feel like this is something that Daniel would like. The first thing Daniel would need in order to not perish instantly, sunscreen, without sunscreen, that dude's probably gonna fizzle up and turn to a raisin and dehydrate and stuff. Sunscreen is the way to go. It always has been. <laughs> okay, hear me out. It's a little Harry Potter spell book. It's thick, so it'll take him forever to read. And also, with this, he'll have everything that he needs. If he needs to eat something, he can just find like a spell to make food. I almost feel like I'm cheating. It's so obvious. You can make sardines come out of a target's nose. He'll need to know how to do this. Okay, this is a very interesting one. There's many ways you guys could have gone about this. You may yes. open your eyeballs. That's it, huh? <laughs> oh, some sports sunscreen. This person knows that, man, I get burnt when I'm out. I, I was just in the Philippines out on an island, and I got burnt to crisps. Very red. Wow. It still hurts to even, like, wear this shirt. I should have put the other outfit on. Yeah, this is way too short anyway. You keep saying that. <laughs> you, you gotta protect yourself, everyone. You don't want melanoma. What was it called? Melanoma. Mm, yeah. It was the ultimate Harry Potter spell book. Mmm. I do like Harry Potter. I've only seen the first four films, but they were great. Maybe I could learn. This person thinks that I could learn the spells to like create food out of thin air. If these spells actually work, I could bring myself back to home. He said these spells actually work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe magic does exist if you believe. Oh, you sure. could do an anti-sun spell. Yeah, with mm. the other magic wand. That, that one. <laughs> oh, I thought you... That one actually <laughs> cast magic. I'm gonna go with the Harry Potter book. Yay! Hey, there you go! Da, 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 da. I mean... I don't need it. Off the target! <laughs> oh. Okay, now, you guys have to make me my favorite customized snack. Could be something I've never tried before, you know? Get creative. I'm gonna be tasting your little creation. I am an excellent chef, so I like this challenge already. Oh yeah? I'm an excellent eater. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> if you fail to make me say, ooh, that tastes good, you lose. Wait, it's a, it's a snack though, it's not a dish. It can be a dish. Is this a Netflix or a TikTok meal? Maybe more like Instagram reel. <laughs> okay, okay, now I got it. Yeah. Kimberly, off. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys both did that? We did it at the same time. We're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> this caught my attention for a second because we are Italian, so noodles are a big part of our culture, but I think these are golf balls. Okay, I'm definitely not a chef, but I've definitely watched some TikToks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Another fond memory that I have with Daniel is being kids, sitting around a campfire, and roasting some s'mores. Yeah, I'll get him the ultimate snack that, like he said earlier, he can eat while he's on the toilet. <laughs> Which I personally wouldn't do. 
Oh, I'm feeling hungry. Okay, I'm not gonna look. Take all the time you need to prepare. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna leave for real. I'm doing s'mores, boring, right? But I got chicken and the biscuit s'mores. So we have the sweet, we've got the savory going. I got the ultimate sugar rush combination Ooh. here. Uh, Freeze-dried gut crunchy bears for the texture. Pretty much I'm gonna just prepare this all into one crazy bite. Well, if I'm gonna have a nice treat, Zuko should have one too. Here. Hmm. <laughs> Here. Ooh. Ooh. We have a chicken, it's mm. an emergency. Mm. <laughs> Quick. Mm. Okay, thank you for cleaning up. <laughs> see, I know Zuko so well. I know what he likes. Let's see if my sister and best friend know me just as well. <laughs> I don't have any more. I don't. My chicken is in the biscuit. I have my chocolate. Now I have my little mallet. Then I start one end by placing the, the gushers in there. So every Ooh. bite will have that, because you gotta have that, some cotton candy. I'm in press mom, it looks good. Yeah, I don't think it's good for the body though. All right, Daniel. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells amazing in here. And wow, we got chicken and a biscuit on a Hershey? That's very creative. Whoever made that is very creative. And what is this thing? Wow, it looks like it could be maybe a fruit roll up. What's inside it? Oh, it looks like there's a gusher in there and like, what's that called? Freeze dried candy or something? I love how you guys are just so silent. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, can't yeah. really say anything. No, say yeah, I know, no. I guess I'll start with this. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering yeah, so I'm much right now. Mmm. <laughs> 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 I see this so. <laughs> It's alive. <laughs> Just ASMR. <laughs> Sorry. Mmm. You know, there's a lot of weird fruit roll-up trends going around on TikTok, and uh, I never tried any of them. I don't know why I'm saying this. <laughs> it looks like a little cat or something. Be careful! It has it's full ears. of slobber. <laughs> oh yeah, that was really good. Very creative. However, this also is very creative. Is it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know if it was like, what, like melted? Like how a s'more should be? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Whoever made this knows I love chicken and the biscuit. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. What are you thinking? Oh, the aftertaste. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> No, I'm just comparing, I'm just comparing. Oh, okay. The s'more, I couldn't taste the chicken and a biscuit at all until the very end where it came in with a little bit of stank. <laughs> it was weird, it was weird. I think I like this one more. Ah, oh, shoot! Kimberly, you're losing! <laughs> I, I, I wanted to melt it, but I didn't have the technology. That was close though, that, that s'more was really good, it just tasted a little weird at the end. Melvin takes the lead by quite a lot, but Kimberly, you know how things work on the internet. Not really, oh. I'm new here. We're gonna make this last round worth double the points, so you could possibly tie this thing, Ooh. right? I forgot you slobbered over that other half. <laughs> I know. It all comes down to this. <sighs> <laughs> If I wasn't a YouTuber, what item would I need to have for my other dream job? Other dream job? Mm-hmm. You guys know YouTube is my dream job, but there's a second one out there. Yeah, it's so obvious already. That's why I'm gonna win this. Really? It's obvious? I think it's pretty obvious too, but it's more obvious to me who's known you forever. Maybe it's even something I've never told you before. I me know. or Kim? Both, I don't know. It could be anything at this point. I'm gonna have to think really hard about this one. But I think I got something that's at least better than yours. I don't think so. I think mine's gonna be pretty good. Please I... be respectful to one another. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> this is immediately what stood out to me, where you have a doppelganger on YouTube. <laughs> I always see him. I always think that's me as well. <laughs> Yeah, pro home cooks. But I swear if that's not you in a different dimension with these yeah. air fryers. Dude, you're 100% pro home cooks. <laughs> when Daniel and I were growing up, we used to always watch that show, Bob the Builder. Can he fix it? Yes, he can. And so I found this little tool set, which I'm wondering maybe that would like bring him back to his childhood roots. And he's also really good at fixing things for me if my phone is having a problem. So I feel like this could be a great career choice for him, but I also don't know that it's like 
his dream job. All right, so I'll tell you right now what my dream job would be. Let me make sure that nobody's looking. My dream job, if I wasn't a YouTuber, is something that I watch a lot of YouTube videos about, and I always think, oh, if only I could be sitting in that person's seat and doing their job, that'd be awesome. It is. I would love to be. Shopping, I just have some things I need to pick up. Go. Bye. This one truly confuses me because Daniel is a music guy, as I've said at the beginning of the video, but is his other passion to really create music? And is that answer too easy and obvious? I would love to be an airplane pilot. Like flying like commercial airliners because that's so scary. You know, yeah, I'm horrified of airplanes and things I'm horrified of intrigue the crap out of me. All I do on YouTube is I just look at videos of airplanes landing and the beautiful views they must see like all above the clouds. Hopefully I don't have to become an airplane pilot because you guys will keep clicking that like button and keep clicking that subscribe button so I can do this until I'm 86 years old. Okay, that pause was uh, waiting for you guys to click the subscribe button and the like button. Hope you did it. Or else I'll be really sad and I'll need that item that was in the previous scene. What is my sister doing? Okay, yeah, thank um, you. Did you need it right away? I did need it right away, but, that, but that's okay. That's yeah. okay, I'll keep I'm like, looking at it. Order, uh, folk I don't know, it's, she's, she's asking an employee something. Man, she's trying real hard to win this thing. She doesn't want to do her punishment, huh? She doesn't know what it is, but you guys know. Let me try to, a different AI generation of it. That's Kimberly's punishment if she loses. Is that better? This is, this is one of the toughest ones, actually. It's all based off of a hypothetical that he might not even have shared with me. Kim might be taking this round. Oh, you know what? Easy. I know. All right. It all comes down to this. Whoever loses has to do that crazy punishment. Yeah? I'm nervous. What a fun YouTube video this is. However, in another life, I'm not making this YouTube video. Instead, I'm doing a different job, and I will need this. Now that's what I call music 25th anniversary volume one. Why would, I, why would I need this in my dream job? Okay, I gotta think about it, I gotta think about it, okay. Or a little tykes three piece set. Uh, another baby baseball kit. Wow, look at that guy. <laughs> so I think this person saying that in my other dream job, I would actually have the skill to be a baseball player or at least I'd be a father in my other job. And I play catch and baseball with my son. I'm still trying to understand. <laughs> okay, what songs are on here? Justin Timberlake, Dula Peep, Britney Spears, The Weeknd, <laughs> Glass Animals, I love them, Olivia Rodrigo, love them, Coldplay, love them, Imagine. This is a great CD. I don't think either of you guys got what my real dream job is. Why don't you tell us before you yeah. pick one? My dream job, if I wasn't doing YouTube, would be, I would be an airplane pilot. What? I have never heard of you wanting to be an airplane pilot. Really? I yeah. thought you were afraid of airplanes. I am, but that's what intrigues me, bro. Mm, you do like things that you're afraid of. Yeah. That's why you like hurricanes and that, that kind of thing, too. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense, though. I'm so tripped up. You want to be a pilot? Yeah, yeah, it would be cool. That's like me wanting to be like a manager at a woman's facility. <laughs> <laughs> a woman's facility? Yeah, I'm terrified of women. <laughs> <laughs> I could listen to this as I'm flying on those long flights, but I also could use this to itch my lower back. <laughs> <laughs> I do think if my dream job was to fly commercial airplanes for a living, <clears throat> I would probably use this CD and listen to it on long, the long flights. Yeah! That was you? Oh, what the heck? So, who knows me better? It's a tie! It's a tie? Well, I mean, techni technically, I technically, no, technically, I answer more correctly. Yeah, if it wasn't but I, I did say the bonus point. You know how the internet works. <laughs> <laughs> that means that you both won. Yeah, I didn't really want to give you guys the extreme punishment I was going to do, because you both kind of, you, you, you both know me well. Yeah. Well, what is it? Maybe you should do it. Yeah, you made us do all this work for you. We got you all these gifts, and you're ungrateful. Okay, all right. Guys, subscribe to Melvin and Dane. I'm gonna be in their video tomorrow. Follow my sister on Instagram, and 
Let's do this. What can I get started for you? Oh, hello there. How are you? My name is Daniel, and I am in the in the market for a cheeseburger, and I am willing to send you some money for that. May I get you anything else? I would also like some uh, fingers of the chicken variety, please, because I'm a big YouTuber, big boy. Your total is going to come out to 1213. Thank you. This is stupid. Please subscribe.